Tonight, shocking new development in the case of the state of Wisconsin versus Fern the dog. It's been two weeks since the disappearance of photographer Emily Hasselbeck. Since then, her car was found just a few hundred feet from home of mixed breed family dog, Fern. Eyewitnesses claim Fern walks by the lot several times a day on her walk. They describe her as quiet. Yeah, I mean, she's always been cool. Sniffs around, wags her tail. Standard dog stuff. This is not Fern's first run-in with the law. In 2011, she was convicted of eating a piece of cheesecake off the counter and sentenced to a day in her crate. But in the mere hours following her sentence, new fecal discoverings successfully connected Fern's housemate, Gary the Cat, to the crime. A judicial flaw that allowed Gary to commit three more household crimes while Fern was detained. On Thursday, Minnetonka Sheriff's Department took Fern into custody after a tip from an anonymous witness. Deputy Sheriff Daniel Koosh was able to composite this sketch based on witness description. As you can see here, we have the uh, floppy ears, the, the, the wet nose, and the, the waggy tail. And what about the jumpsuit? The jumpsuit, I, I, I added in because I, I want the media and, the, and everybody to know that this dog has served prior convictions. This dog served hard time in 2011. Uh, Mr. Kush, DNA evidence proved him innocent in 2011. I mean, what is DNA anyway? I, is that even real? I mean, who, who, who are you going to believe? The DNA or the... You going to tell me that dog doesn't look guilty? Sheriff's Department said this was all the evidence they needed to link Fern to the murder. Fern's owner, Gail Sherman, remains hopeful. It's like the police have tunnel vision. They're, they're determined to pin this crime on Fern. They have no other suspects. The day of Fern's arrest, police uncovered a note in Emily's car. The note read, Stabby stabs again. This evidence could possibly link escaped serial killer Fred Stabby Allen to the crime, but was thrown out when Cheesecake Splatter was found in the vehicle just mere hours later. But today, after a five-hour interrogation, the Sheriff's Department have what they are calling an outright confession to the murder. Fern had to kill Emily. We already know you did it. We just need you to admit it. Do you like cheesecake? Fern, do you like cheesecake? Want some cheesecake? Say you murdered Emily and we'll give you some cheesecake. Just say you killed her. Say you killed Emily and we'll give you some cheesecake. You want that? You want that, Fern? Sit if you killed Emily. Will you sit? Sit, Fern. Sit. Hi, Fern. I'm Officer Jim Dank with the Minnetonka County Sheriff's Department. Come with me. Come on. It was quite chilling to see how calm and casual he was when admitting to these grisly crimes. It was almost as if he had no idea what I was saying. If found guilty, Fern is facing a life sentence. Diane Gabriel, Eyewitness News.